Hey, okay, so it's been a really stressful past day and a half, like really stressful. I did a video yesterday when I was at the house uh, getting ready to move the house and somehow it all got deleted. So I don't know, I have no way to find it, nothing. So. I'm going to come on here and say what I said yesterday. I'm just, as you can tell, I'm not in my tiny house, in my mom's tiny house. So it is gone. We, my mom found somebody really quick to get it out of there. We didn't want to take any chance not being out of there on the 7th. You never know what, what somebody might do to your tiny house out there. It's happened to other people. So anyway. It was a very stressful, emotional day, and yeah, it, it sucks. It does. Anyway, now that I am out of there and I am free to say what I want, because this is my YouTube and I've kept quiet the whole time I've lived there, that's kind of what they do. They scare you into not saying anything like this because nobody wants this to happen to them nobody I don't want this to happen to anybody it's happened to so many out there so many and I get it I know all of you looking from at home looking at the outside looking in you don't want to believe it's like that I get it that's not how they appear on YouTube Facebook whatever and, and that's fine. You can believe what you want to believe. Most people don't. I didn't believe. I never believed it would be like this when I moved where I did. Uh, never. I was hoping for no drama. And I was wrong. So, yeah. And please don't think it can't happen to you because it can. And you need to know that. It's, it's a good heads up. This can happen. It's happened to several people. There's a lot of stories. It's just hushed. But there are a lot of stories. And you know what? I don't live there anymore, so you can't keep me quiet. I'm coming on my YouTube channel and I'm defending myself against all the slander I've heard for the past few weeks. And I'm coming on here to defend myself because I can. So I first want to say to all of you that said I got kicked out or a non-renewal of lease because of that TikTok video. See, you've all been asking me to explain, well, there's not a re there has to be a reason. They can't just be doing this to you. You need to tell us everything. Well, guess what? I am. And that is everything. And I know you don't want to believe that they don't have a really legitimate reason to want me out of there other than they've never liked me or my mom since court. And by the way, in court, Randy was trying to get me kicked out then and there. Get her out of there. Get her to Lola's. I don't want her here with her mom. Get them both out of here. Because my mom wanted her house done right. She took him to court and he wasn't even made to fix anything. Nothing. You saw the steps in her house. That's how they stayed. Do you think she wanted them that way? No. And for all of you months ago, I couldn't say a word with my lips because I know that when I live there, I'm being watched. Um, that's why people don't say anything. They're, they're scared. So anyway, I can now. So yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. So those of you saying, oh no, you should have told Randy, he would have fixed those steps. He would have given you what you, what you paid for. Oh no, he's not like that. Well, guess what? He is. He was to us because she did try to contact him. No response in the emails, nothing, no contact. So that is why she had to take him to court and still didn't even get to talk to him and, and he didn't have to fix anything. So that is how that is. And I get it. You know, if you want to think I'm lying, I, I do not lie. I just couldn't say things then because they watch you. But you know what? I got kicked out of there anyway. So what's it matter and for those of you saying that it was a TikTok video I do hope that you are looking at that video and the time that it was done because that was about two years ago at court it was not recently 
So that was well after he wanted me out in court, trying to throw me out because I was with my mom at court. And that's why I've been treated different the whole time, the whole time. And I, I don't care at this point anymore. Some of you can believe what you want to believe. And I know a lot believe me and they know my character and I think that shows. So to the ones that don't want to believe that, that is fine. I get all the, you know, worshipers, Randy worshipers out there. I get it. You know, it, it's fine. But I don't have to lie and I never have. And that's a fact. Okay, that that just felt so good to finally say. And I actually, as sad as it was leaving that tiny house and leaving there, it just it crushed me. I love that tiny house. I loved it. So for you, for those of you talking about the lease as well, I wanted to address that, okay? You do understand that in the lease, yes, it does say 30 days you have to give and you can leave, but you do know you have to pay the rest of that lease. It's a year lease. You have to pay the remainder. It, it says it right in there. That's why I wanted the month to month. So I'd have a little more time to get where I wanted to go and that's it. And they would not do the month to month. But I, I love how all you guys say how great and how much they just want to help you. Well, they didn't want to help me. I don't think they ever did. And that lease came with hostility. I've had people harassing me, harassing me on my YouTube channel. I've screenshotted it all. I'm pretty sure they're employees, some residents. And I'm not, I know you guys say, well, just look the other way. Just, you know, I'd put up with it for 200. Well, I'm not. I've done that for almost three years. And I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to. That's the point. So, I, you know... It is what it is. I didn't, I don't have a place to go. That fell through and, and you know, it, it's just so time consuming. Nothing turns out, nothing. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. It's been a really hard day. I have not slept. I went and I stayed at my mom's. It's that exact same tiny house. There's no room. Cody, Cody's stressed. He's sad. We did walk around yesterday. He got to, you know, he loves a lot of people. And you know what? I'm going to miss a lot of people at ITH. I made a lot of friends, I think. And I think a lot of them liked me. I think that kind of speaks for my character alone. And I know there's very, there's that few that, that don't like me. And I think honestly, they were jealous. And to try and destroy me, and destroy my YouTube channel and get me out of there that is that's pretty bad I, I'm gonna pray for you because you are a miserable you people that do that are miserable and I'll pray for you anyway I'm trying to move on I know this video isn't what I wanted the first part got all deleted in the move so I'm going on no sleep I haven't eaten. I finally meeting now. Um, but yeah, I, I'm still going to show the rest of the video and me walking around the last time and saying goodbye to my friends and having the tiny house moved. It's very emotional. So yeah, it's broke my heart. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't know what that is. Who knows where we're going, Code? Huh? People lie. Oh well. Might go in the car for a while, bud. At least I won't have this stress anymore. Just a different one. Huh, Cody? Why? Oh, Cody. You miss your friends? Yeah? Be okay. I'm waiting to move my house. It's going to go to storage. They would just give me a little more time. I don't know, Cody. 
We'll figure something out, won't we, bud? We don't need this crap being harassed the whole time I've been here. Just waiting for my house. I love how people can't wait to say, you know, they say how, uh, well, if you don't like it here, then don't stay, and they know you you can't, it's so hard to move the house and expensive, so they know that you really have no choice, you're trapped. So I'm not really sure, I'm just gonna do it day by day, I guess. Um, stay at my mom's, you know, two nights, I have to work tomorrow. Don't know how I'm gonna do that one, I'm so upset. You know what, I've had so many people stop. I'm here waiting for the tiny house to come. We're gonna take it to storage, but so many people have stopped. And I like to think, you know, a lot of people, I think at least some people like me here. I know they like Cody. Uh, I had a few people that say they're really gonna miss us. And so yeah, I, I must not be too terrible where every single person here hates me because I know some people like me, so. And I'll miss them. I've, I had some really nice people here. It's just sad that a, a very few bit, little bit of people can ruin it and try to ruin it for you. I guess they did ruin it for me. I mean, I'm out of here now. I don't have anywhere to park this because we don't have time. Bean Station wasn't ready. So I'm just kind of giving up on all this. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. You can stay tuned for the next adventure, this adventure. But at least the house will be in storage and she's not selling it. So I know there's properties popping up. So, you know, maybe something will pop up or somebody will have land. I don't know. But this toxic environment with just those few people and, and ITH, it's, it's not worth it. I'm ready to be gone. My mom's such a rebel. She's blasting her horn for him. We've tried to just do everything and be good here, and that's what I mean. I hope you guys know, because if you look at them the wrong way, I hope you know that that's a possibility, that if it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. I know you don't want to believe that, but it is the truth. So, all right, here we go. I, I know I am I was such a terrible resident here that um, I hope who moves in here next I hope they're I hope they're real nice. I do. I wish the best. Okay, here we go. Goodbye. My neighbor that hated me so much. <laughs> and good riddance. You guys can have it. Hope they like my peel out. They deserve a lot more treating people dirty. Just saying. Alright, let's go. Gotta go only like five miles to storage. So, at least it'll be over there and be safe until I can uh, get it moved. I will miss the good people there. <laughs> 